Knowing your opponents and understanding what they're thinking may be the key to winning any fight. So believes the founder of a Russian combat school who says with the right mental attitude you don't even need to touch your enemy to defeat him. Arty Yorodorodnev decided to see for himself. What you saw there was no contact fighting. Now, just what is it and how does it work? We're going to try and find out. At this sweaty suburban Moscow gym, Vadim Starov is explaining the basics to a beginner group. He says non-contact fighting is about taking control of the opponent's psyche and giving him a false target. I am in a trance. I am relaxed. I am giving the dog a bone. Look, the bone is here, now it's here, now it flies away and he follows it. He claims the technique can overpower someone far stronger. His followers are dedicated and grow in number almost every week. I saw his aura straight away at the first session. I closed my eyes and it glowed in front of me. Vadim's system is a way of changing your own psychological makeup and then that of your opponent. It's not so much a fight as a conversation. Non-contact fighting is rumored to have been developed in secret by the Soviet special forces to give them an edge against their American counterparts. But the Russians weren't the only ones looking for unusual solutions. We don't fight with guns, we fight with our mind. We showed footage from Vadim's school to a prominent psychologist to see if there was any scientific basis for psycho combat. There are a lot of myths around about what this non-contact fighting can do, and its powers are exaggerated. But these psychological techniques do exist. Most people cannot use them consciously. Vadim stresses that non-contact fighting isn't appropriate for every situation and cannot be perfected without advanced psychological training. I'm working with energy waves. I'm connecting with the wavelengths of his inner organs. Vadim Starov has come up against ridicule and accusations of fraud. But while it may be some time before all of the world's conflicts are resolved without so much as a punch being thrown, Vadim Starov is already planning to open new schools all over Russia to cope with growing demand. Igor Gorodnev, RT, Moscow.